Right, good morning and welcome back to the Upload TV. Thank you for joining the Average Golfer. I'm down here at Four Golf Chester. The sign behind me says Mizuno, so there's the clue. It's the 919 morning. I'm about a week behind. I was away last week when these uh, samples came into Four Golf, but we're about to get stuck into. I'm going to start with the Hot Metal. Now, the Hot Metal is the the game improver set i suppose you would call it in amongst this 919 range from mizuno so as we would expect maybe a little bit chunkier maybe a bit stronger lofted all those things that we come to associate with game improvement irons but the first thing i've got to say about the mizuno hot metal is that it is probably the best looking game improvement iron out there on the market right now it is absolutely stunning to look at as you can see from the images in front of you now um, yes it has got that thick uh, top line it's not huge in terms of appearance from above at a dress behind the golf ball and again on the sole of the club what they've done they've done this sort of two-tone pattern where visually when you first look at it from the underneath there's a um, there's a matte satin finish and then a high chrome finish uh, as it leads off and again gives you that visual perception at least of it being a little bit smaller but it's high chrome uh, with a sort of matte satin finish and I think you've got to agree it looks absolutely stunning on the eye but the key thing is how does it perform with all these game improvement irons generally the thing that we're looking at is powerful performance uh, which is often related to the 30 degrees with the loft and the stronger lofted this is a seven iron we're testing this morning but there's often a drop off and a compromise in the spin number not something that I've always believed in and seen when I've got there out on the course but for this morning it's dry ball data and we're going to see how this thing performs in particularly in those two things because what Mizuno are claiming is that they've got nice and powerful ball flight without it being bullet like nice descent angle which is going to that coupled with uh, the spin that you're going to achieve is going to do more than enough to get these balls stopping on greens but for now it's dry ball data switch camera get in some golf balls and i'll give you my feedback right so as i will start off with how this thing looks at a dress and as i've just mentioned although that thick top line is visible ball or club behind ball it's it's doable it's it's acceptable on my eye for someone who prefers that sort of smaller profile but i can still get away with this let's say fairly minimal offset 30 degrees worth of loft there's not a great deal more to say i'm going to be using my dynamic gold um s300 shaft in this same as i use in all my irons so as i say no more to be said let's just hit some golf balls i think and have a look at this data let's see if we can get that ball up and out there and with a spin number on it and mizuno i've done what they claim so as ever um tailor-made tp5 balls for everything that we test here so we've got some consistency with the numbers. I mean, the big thing that you're looking at these, the, with the, the first thing that throws into mind is how does these kind of clubs feel? What is the difference um, between this and when we get to the Forge Club uh, later on, when we look at these, the Forge and the Tour? And straight away, I mean, I tested the original um, hot metal which was what a couple of years ago was it and to me i mean without literally putting the club back in their hands again it's got similar feel it's very very good for this type of club but it's a long way from being a forge club um, obviously i suppose um, first three balls kind of hit nice ball flight you can tell this is 30 degrees worth of loft in terms of a seven iron visually where this ball is sort of ending up and going to um, but i think the best thing for me to do is hit some more golf balls and then we'll look at some data for my analysis on this one so uh, a few more shots then time for a sit down and we'll discuss those numbers Okay, so back in the office, moved away from four golf, little time to digest the numbers and just have a little think about how that club performed. And for me, 
hot metal pretty much let's let's strip this down to an assessment in terms of what this club does and delivers it looks very very good indeed as i've already said for a game improvement club its sound feel is what i would consider as to be good without being my choice in terms of sound and feel for a golf club for a set of irons and it delivers in terms of numbers and let's have a look at the numbers that i achieved over 10 shots here so here's the uh, data up on screen now we'll have a little chat through this first of all because i'm going to continue to do I, I reviewed three clubs this morning uh, all from the 919 range and it's pretty much straightforward in terms of the differences between the three clubs so launch angle 18.6 spin at 5000 just over and we'll come back to that shortly carry distance of 163 and peaking out at around 30 uh, yards that is in terms of height uh, achieving ball speeds of on average 114 the number that i said we come back to is the spin number it's basically a powerful seven iron at 160 carry without being a mega powerful seven iron and again we go back to this 30 degrees worth of loft the spin they've achieved, however, is very, very good. And again, you have to put into perspective whose hands this is in. And I talk about this quite a lot. Is my spin number low has gotten a little bit higher with the slight changes I've made in my own personal sw swing. 5,000 spin with a 30 degree seven iron is a very, very good number. And that coupled with a steep descent angle, 5,000 spin, there's no issues for me with average golfers using this club and expecting it to stay and stick and hold on to greens, but I'm not gonna go into that one right now. So the thing is for me, and it does exactly what I expected it to do, and it doesn't do anything different than that, I'm afraid. The only thing that may be slightly different for me from the first test that I did on these clubs two years ago, in the hot metal in particular, is the improvement in the spin number. Um, and I think that's something obviously they've set out to do at the outset. And that's it. I mean, I can go on and waffle on about these clubs all day long, but this is a very quick first look. I will get these out on the course and we'll also do some head to heads in the game improvement things. But as a first look, I think I've already evaluated what I think in terms of the looks, in terms of the feel, and now you've seen performance. It sort of, it ticks a lot of boxes. It's a very, very good, game improvement iron that also delivers on performance and that's my overall finishing statement if you like the video click the thumbs up button if you didn't like the gun hit the thumbs down button comment down below subscribe if you don't already and stick around because i'm about to do my evaluation of the 919 forge club very soon